hey guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm doing a direct comparison between basite os and windows os specifically on handheld gaming devices now the big question we're trying to answer here is is basite really better than windows for gaming and if it is just how much better are we talking about now for this test i'm going to be focusing on just three games but the main highlight is going to be on Hogwarts Legacy since it's both CPU and GPU intensive which is perfect for showing real world performance. Let's kick things off with Black Myth Wukong. Now I've beaten this game probably like 8 times already, mostly on Windows operating systems of course and while it's technically playable on Windows, it really wasn't a great experience if I'm being honest unless I use frame generation. Even on the lower settings, I had to drop super resolution down to 65, you know, sometimes 60. I also used an external GPU, which helped, but without the external GPU, yeah, not so ideal. I wouldn't say I truly enjoyed it on Windows, but the moment I switched to Bazite, it was a completely different story. As you can see on the right, on the left hand side of the screen, even without frame generation, I was hitting impressive frame rate. And get this, even on high settings, the game was smooth and actually playable. The FPS wasn't super high but the experience was miles better. Like Bazite clearly wins in this category. Now moving on to Hogwarts Legacy, I'm gonna say upfront that this is where Bazite really flexes its muscle. On Windows OS, it was almost unplayable. Even on low settings, I was constantly dealing with micro stutters and the frame rate was just all over the place like you can see right now. Sometimes it's fine but most of the time it's just bad. I basically give up trying to play it on Windows after some time. Of course, more RAM could have helped but my device only has 16 gigs of RAM and Windows just doesn't handle that well for handheld gaming devices. But on Bazite, man, it was 9 10 day. As you can see right now on the left, not only was it smooth with zero starters, but the graphics actually looked better, I think. It's more vibrant, the colors pop, and I even cranked settings up to the high and even ultra settings and it was still playable. It genuinely felt like I was gaming on a console. Windows, in contrast, just doesn't feel like a gaming first operating system. It always, it's always running background tasks and processes that you don't need as a gamer, which is just wasting system's resources. But Bazite is actually built for gaming, okay? It's clean, focused, and you don't even need a desktop mode unless you're trying to. And lastly, I tested a new release Last of Us Part 2 Remastered and mm, just for a short moment. And this is where Bazite also shows off once again. It comes with a Steam Deck preset which is super optimized right out of the box and it looks better and runs smoother than it did on Windows. So what's the verdict? Yes, Bazite OS is actually better than windows for handheld gaming it's optimized it's smooth and it doesn't hog your ram like windows does and considering that it's based on steam os it actually makes sense right now 
is team os better than barzite well uh, that's a video for another day but if i had to guess i would say performance wise they are pretty neck and neck all right that's it for this one i hope this video was helpful and don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you in the next one peace